Hello and good afternoon. We are here with everything you need to know right before the US stock market rings the bell. On Wednesday, Ford reaffirmed its 2022 outlook and hiked its stock dividend after crushing earning estimate for the second quarter. Strong demand for traditional combustion and new electric vehicles offset supply and inflation headwinds, the automaker said. Wall Street expected Ford earnings to jump 244% year-over-year, but instead vaulted 423% to $0.68, cents, while revenue leaped to $40.2 million, driven by a 35% increase in wholesale shipment together with favorable pricing and vehicle mix. Ford ended quarter with $29 billion in cash and $45 billion with dividend payable on September 1st and maintained 2022 guidance for adjusted EBITDA of $11.5 billion to $12.5 billion. Ford stock leaped 5.2% in late trading hours. Social media giant Meta reported its first ever quarterly sales decline, sitting advertisement shrinking budget. Meta revenue slipped to $28.8 billion in the second quarter, missing the $28.9 billion average analyst estimate. The company's advertising sales effort are hitting several snags, including Apple's Inc. privacy rules making Facebook and Instagram less effective in its ongoing competition with TikTok. To combat the slap, Facebook has tried to rein its costs by slowing hiring, but is still investing in the metaverse with its Reality Labs division, which also reported a loss of $2.81 billion. The results mark COO Sherry Sandberg's last earnings report as she departs the company in September. French healthcare group Sanofi lifted its full-year earning outlook on continued forecast beating sales growth of its best-selling drugs Dufixen. On Thursday, Sanofi said it's now expect 2022 adjustment earning per share to grow by 15%, excluding the effects of currency swings. Revenue from its anti-inflammatory treatment Dufixen jumped 43.4% to $2 billion in the quarter reported, while its customer healthcare unit lifted sales by 9.1% to $1.3 billion driven by revenue in Europe and Latin America, as well as the upswing in COVID-19 infection. Finance chief John Bastide Chalion said that although Sanofi and development partner JSK is set to help fight the pandemic, they do not see it as a significant economic opportunity. This is it. That's all we have for you today. Soon, Wall Street bell will ring and a new trading day will start. We are MaxMTV and we will be here in the next trading day. Same time, same place. Goodbye.